Buzz brought to you by the Comedy Connection. We're talking secrets because according to a new study, keeping secrets isn't always so bad. Okay. People say they actually feel more energized and alive. But it is still difficult to keep one. Trust me. 76% <laughs> of people want to tell someone immediately even if it is good news. But keeping positive secrets can give someone a lift because instead of worrying about it, they are waiting for the excitement of the moment when the secret is finally revealed. Now the study found that the only way keeping a secret may be negative or stressful is because the secret itself is just that. Yeah. So are you a good secret keeper? You know, listen, uh -huh, I, feel that's like a no. I, I feel like I, I am, Okay. but like we all have that like circle of trust, Yes. right? So my circle of trust is very small, mm -hmm. but there is like one thing, like my sister and I, you know, listen, if you have like a sibling, you know, sure. it's like, you know, I mean, every day we're texting back and forth a million times. Did you hear? Did you know? Right. And right. then the best is when like you're like, well, don't tell them that I know. Right. And then when you're all together and you know that they know and you don't, they don't know that you know. Sure. Are you following? Right. But you know. Right. <laughs> I am uh, telling you this and I mean this with 100%. I am a horrible secret keeper. You are. Bad. Okay. Oh, no, I, I am. Unless like there's a level. Right. Someone said to you, well, please right. don't there's say There's a level anything. of secret keeping. Yep. There's some stuff that I will keep secret. You'll be a vault. I sit on the, you know, I yeah. don't tell anybody. Yeah. And then there's other stuff that I know is like coming. Yes. And you know, I try, it, it's everything in my power. I'm trying to hold trying it Trying to hold it in and not say anything. Yeah, I get that. Right. I mean, you know, I think like we we're talking about, I mean, I remember, listen, I've been pregnant five times. You have? I have. Did you know that? I didn't know that. Did you know that? I have five kids. <laughs> five. Five. Um, but I did. I kept the secret. The, you know, you keep the pregnancies a secret, and that was right. such a big, exciting thing to tell. But, you know, and I, I've known a lot of friends who are pregnant that have kept it in okay. because, you know, they want to wait until they reveal it. Right. So those are like the good secrets. And when it's revealed, like we said, you do, you get excited. Yeah. I, I think there's certain secrets that are like fine. You know, like it's a secret, but really not really. Right, 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 right. 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 Brendan, <laughs> are you a good secret keeper? I'm a vault. Are you really? In the words of George Costanza on Seinfeld, I'm a vault. Vault. <laughs> and what I mean by that is I can keep a secret, especially if the person is counting on you and yes. it's something that they really yes, don't want totally. out there. Right. And then there's a later episode of Seinfeld where Elaine, you know, reinvokes the word. She goes, come on, I'm a vault. And Jerry goes, too many people know the combination. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> that's a good one. That's a good one. <laughs> Which is a great line. But yeah, I, it, it's one of these things where you got to, uh, you put your trust in somebody yep. right? and, you know, you hope that they will, you know, lock it up and throw away the key. Sure. You know, but it's very tough. My father was the worst. He knew everything that was going on, and he could not be trusted with information. Oh, no way. And everyone out there who knew him knows this. And I, 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 as much as I am like him, I am not like him in that regard. He couldn't wait to tell everybody everything. Right, right. So it got to the point where my brother and I, we stopped telling him things because we knew it'd be all over the place. Right. Well, so, yeah. I, I told you I met somebody oh. who loved, like, adored your father. And what, did she, say, what did she say to you? She said, every night at 10 o'clock, the <laughs> phone would ring. She said, and I knew who it was. She said, because he knew everything that was going on and could not wait to tell me. Oh, stop but it. Yes. Oh, I love and that. I believe, tell me. They also told you they don't know what's going on. They don't know what's going on. Yes, yes, that is true. <laughs> but these are the, the memories we can remember and look back fondly upon. And also, it, it's tough to keep secrets. We all get it. We've been there. Right. We've all been there. Check in with our viewers to see what you had to say about this. Let's try it again. Ooh, right there this morning. I think I just blew out my shoulder. <laughs> I'm weak and delicate. Priscilla's up first. An important secret I will not tell. If it would upset someone, I can keep a secret. There you go. She knows to keep it quiet if she knows it would hurt somebody. James has a great strategy. If I know that leaking a secret could hurt someone or cause embarrassment, I do keep quiet about it. Very gentlemanly of you, James. Lucy shares, in part, I have kept secrets but wish I didn't have to. It was always such a huge relief when the truth finally came out. Yeah, you can breathe a sigh and just think, okay, enough of this charade, this nonsense. Let's move on. And Linda can keep the joy in sharing. She says, yes, I am good with keeping secrets, especially if it's good news. Yeah, because you know there's going to be this big moment at the end of Thanksgiving or some holiday where you can share the news and everyone will rejoice, right? <laughs> Thanks for chiming in, everyone. Please keep those comments coming. Follow us at The Roadshow on Facebook, Twitter, X, and Instagram. Leave yours on our bus topic.